Tomorrow, I want to bring in uh, Southern Company CEO Tom Fanning, who's a regular on our program. Tom, uh, this is, of course, a first on Bloomberg Television interview, so we thank you for that. Great to have you back here uh, on the program. And, uh, you know, as I always ask you with your results, you know, it, it's not so much individually what you're seeing in your operations, but overall, uh, what are you seeing in terms of uh, in terms of a housing rebound, in terms of consumption through your businesses? Well, Betty, it's great to be with you again. Happy New Year. Uh, we continue to see, a, I think, a relatively consistent story with respect to the economy. That is, in the southeast, we continue to see our industrial sector continue to grow. It has exceeded our expectations in 2011. Mm -hmm. Along the way, we have not seen the growth in jobs. There is a hidden good lining there, and that is our industrial sector over the past few years has been getting more efficient. So as they're adding more production, they have yet to add more jobs. However, we believe that the jobs are around the corner. As we add jobs, we will see growth in the residential and commercial sectors. Well, I, I know, Tom, you know, you've know you been on our program several times. You've said that already, though, in many instances, that jobs are around the corner, and yet we've been waiting for that for several quarters. So what do you think will eventually you know, hit that trigger point then? Well, it, what we're doing is as the efficiency gain and the increase in production continues to evolve, we should see drops in unemployment. And in fact, in the fourth quarter of 2011, we saw just that. Uh, we saw substantial improvements in Alabama, some improvements in Georgia, mm -hmm. Mississippi, and Florida. Okay. Uh, Tom, you and I have talked a, a bit about Washington policies, and I want to roll for you uh, one, uh, one comment that President Obama had made during his speech about clean energy. I just want to roll that for you. We've subsidized oil companies for a century. That's long enough. It's time to end the taxpayer giveaways to an industry that rarely has been more profitable and double down on a clean energy industry that never has been more promising. Pass clean energy tax credits. Create these jobs. Certainly a rousing applause, uh, you know, for, for the president in, in terms of putting the energy into clean energy. But, you know, as we know, there's a difference between hoping to do that and the execution. What is your response, you know, to this? Well, I thought it was really good stuff. In fact, the president really touched on four things that are exceedingly consistent with what we've been saying now since I've been in this role. I think when you think about an all of the above energy policy, we translate that as all the arrows in the quiver. That is, we need to build out new nuclear, 21st century coal, gas, renewables, energy, efficient, energy efficiency, completely consistent. The second thing he talked about was innovation. Well, Southern Company is the only company in our industry that does proprietary research and development, mm -hmm. and we've beaten, in fact, the Chinese to the punch on innovating around the energy sector. We need to do more of that in America, and we have a great collaborative uh, relationship with the United States government in helping move those things forward. The other thing he talked about underpinning these things was the creation of jobs. When I think about this 21st century generation portfolio I mentioned, we have committed, Southern Company has committed, over $20 billion making that a reality. Mm -hmm. In the process, according to a study of West Georgia here in, in, in the Southeast, we are creating over 250,000 direct and indirect jobs. Okay. So those are very consistent. Southern Company is executing on that every day. Right, and I know you've got two nuclear reactors that you just got approval for, right? I mean, that's going to be quite significant in terms of jobs? Absolutely. Uh, we're in the process of getting the final license approval. We think that is imminent. Okay. We think that project alone will employ about 3,500 craft workers on site, four to 5,000 people on site total, direct indirect contribution, probably 25,000 or more. All right, Tom, thank you. I'll have to leave it there, but great to see you, as always, for this first on Bloomberg uh, Television interview. Tom Fanning, the Southern Company CEO.